Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. If you're just here for Disney content, I totally understand. I will leave my Disney unboxing playlist linked for you right up here. Today I have my January fantasy level Bibbidi box to share with you. Now if you're not familiar with Bibbidi, they do all kinds of fandoms, not just Disney. They do Harry Potter, they do Marvel, they do Nickelodeon. I've seen a bunch of like Hello Kitty stuff when I'm going through the wish list process every month and the boxes are super duper customizable. So not only do you fill out a preferences questionnaire, every month they actually do a wish list that kind of gives you an idea of the items that are in stock. You can heart items or you can actually move some of the items right into your box to ensure that they're in there so you get to kind of customize in terms of the level of mystery that there is as well they're even starting to do some sort of set boxes that are like pre curated and you can choose those at the appropriate level of whatever your subscription is now like I said this is the fantasy level box which is kind of right in the middle they have boxes for as little as $39 all the way up to 119 but your girl just cannot afford to have a hundred and nineteen dollar Disney box every month. That does not include the shipping. It's another $9.50 in shipping. I believe that has gone up a little bit in the last year or so. So for me, the fantasy box is the right amount. It's enough where I might get some ears, but not so much that I'm going to wind up with more lounge fly mini backpacks because that is definitely a higher ticket item. And as much as I love them, I do not need any more. I've got like an even dozen right now. And until I see a design that I just absolutely have to have, I think this uh, middle tier is going to be the best for me but let's go ahead and get into this month's box for whatever reason even though now it's supposed to be kind of based on when you fill out your wish list my box always comes like at the very very end of the month if not in the beginning of the following month which is fine because you know as long as I keep the subscription going and don't necessarily skip I'm still like getting it in the same interval so inside you guys I'm seeing their little folder that they do now for the packing slip which we look at at the end but this is really cute. They are doing a lot of like Bibbidi branded stuff, which I'm not sure that I'm really into personally. Um, I like a lot of the stuff that you actually get from Disney. I like some small shop stuff, but then I'm kind of picky and I want to pick it out for myself. So you can put that in your preferences if you like getting small shop stuff or not. Um, so here is their little logo though. They kind of did like a riff on the classic like Christmas red truck with the tree in the background. So I think that's kind of a fun uh, variation of it with the heart balloons and uh, Mickey balloons in there. So let me just see. On the inside, it's so cute, but it does have like a little folder flap. So you could definitely use these to store um, like, I don't know, receipts or like coupons or what have you in there. And then they are, instead of doing the shred, the foozles anymore, now they've been doing these like reusable bags. And for Christmas, we got a really bright red one with like green writing. And then normally it's this like really pretty iridescent one. So these are great reusable bags. Um, I know that they are like big enough for like small shopping trips uh, so you can have the you have the nice handles here and then they also have the drawstrings which I've seen some people manage to like make it into like sort of a like drawstring backpack I probably would never use it that way because again I have so many backpacks that are really nice um, but these are, are definitely appreciated and this is like a bigger size I feel like than the ones that I've received before so I'm happy to have this I just kind of fold them and I know that at some point I will find a good use for them um, I got some like I think I got some in another bag uh, or another box and I actually used them to like roll up a sleeping bag in. It was that big of a bag. So let me go ahead and pull everything out. Um, of course now there's like not so much surprise because I had to like pull everything out because I don't want to just like pour everything onto my desk and make a mess. But I am very excited you guys because it looks like we do get to do an ear change. Uh, and some of you guys know if you've been watching my Disney unboxing, ears are one of the things that I do collect because I just feel like they're so classic and they don't take up too much space. I have gotten to the point where my like wall hanging strips like I'm they're full so some of the uh, more seasonal ears have to go in there like boxes in the closet until it's time to bring them back out but they do kind of add to like the decor of that like little corner of my office so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tag 
uh, just the like price tag. Now, if you guys don't know already, ears are $29.99, which I know seems like a lot, but like in terms of like Disney stuff, it's, it's something that you collect and you really get to be like customized. I think it's fine. So these, I believe, are the champagne ears. I still have to get my hands on the cornflower blue velvet ones. Those are like the next one on my list of wants, but they are very, very pretty. So it's just basically gold, but you guys can see that this material here is a little bit different uh it's not like sequins it's almost like a strange like like snake print or something but in gold and then it's kind of got this like gold lame on the headband so i like these because you guys know i like gold jewelry in general but like gold accents and stuff and i just feel like these are really easy to make work with any outfit any park outfit sometimes um when you get them like you know it's for one character or it's like a really like bright color and you have to like make your whole outfit work but like obviously gold ears are gonna work for any outfit and they feel very classic and I love these they are so comfortable you guys I have to tell you like I, if you're anything like me you used to try on the ears at Disneyland and they just seemed like a headache on headband uh, they are so much more comfortable I think they just started using like bigger headbands for like people like me who have kind of bigger heads like you know adults uh, because they realize that adults like to wear their ears and I just think these are great so that's definitely already like half the value of my box like I said they're $30 ears this box was $59 in case you haven't watched my videos before I am usually looking for a value of 10% above what I paid so in this case I'm looking for like a $70 total value partly to cover the shipping but that used to be the annual pass holders discount they have now done away with the annual pass holder program we're now legacy pass holders and at the moment we get like a pretty good discount if I went to like downtown Disney I'm not sure if that's gonna carry over into their new memberships but it is still gonna be something that I factor in when the parks open up and I get myself back in there I'm going to factor in whatever sort of discount or membership I have into what I'm expecting out of a Disney subscription box so um, so again those are $30 and probably a good bulk of the value of our box the next thing has a good chance of being another high value item and it's a little uh, jewelry piece I'm assuming from this little box that's in this uh, organza bag so let me go ahead and open it up really really cute you guys I love these little like jewelry boxes it, they look very classic they're very regiftable as well of course this one actually has the price tag right on it so whatever is in here you guys is worth $39.99 so there we go we got the value of the box that I was looking for already because $30 ears $40 jewelry piece that's that $70 all right, so this is a set, which is lovely. It is really, really pretty. Now, it is a Swarovski crystal set, and I love, love, love the necklace, you guys. It's in a very faint rose gold, so it's not like super duper pink, which is great. Um, I'm not probably gonna wear the studs because I do actually have that in my preferences that I don't wear stud earrings but I realized that this did come as a set I will definitely take some close-up photos for you guys over on Instagram but it is gorgeous it's very like classy Disney this is the kind of like Disney merch that you can wear every day it doesn't have to be like a park day where you're like going big and usually like if I'm going to the park I'm going big I'm wearing my ears I'm wearing like the few uh, Disney apparel items that I have you know these are like nice little accents that sort of like you know show your love your like nod to Disney um, just because I feel like Disney is such a classic like American thing and well global thing that so many people love so I do really like the necklace I think that's something that you could wear like every day and like no no big deal people aren't gonna like laugh at you like they might if I wore my ears out to the store but you know one of these days I'm just gonna do it because I miss Disneyland so much um, but really you guys this is a very like classy like box so far we got the these gold ears the champagne ears and then this lovely like rose gold Swarovski crystal set so again I probably need to get like a second ear hole so that I could wear those studs and then with like my big my big Disney earrings because I do have some fun big Disney earrings so we did have one more item in the box which I am usually like a quality over quantity person I say that I usually would rather have fewer big ticket items versus like a bunch of little small things just because I don't have a lot of use for them but we did get one more fun little thing and this is like different because I very rarely get stuff like this uh, it's a blind box which I have never done like blind boxes except for their 
there's like a blind bag that has Mickey shaped um, pins and the only reason I have done that one is because that's the only kinds of pins that I collect you guys is Mickey head shaped pins so that definitely reduces uh, the temptation for sure now this one is actually from Pixar, so it comes in this box. So you guys, there are some people who do whole unboxing videos based on this and will buy like the entire like display box to just try to, try to finish the set. So this is interesting. I think I did actually heart this in my um, preferences because sometimes I know that I'm really picky and it's probably really hard to curate my box. It's probably one of the reasons that my box comes so late in the month. So I did go ahead and put this because this is like the Pixar one and there's um, six so it's really cute and you've just got uh, some of my favorite Disney movies are Pixar movies so we've got like we've got an up one we've got a Wally -E one we've got inside out monsters Toy Story and Ratatouille so there they are and I just thought they were all really like cute like I thought that the like rendering of them like the style of them was really sweet so I would be okay with getting any of them in all honesty my favorites of course would be um, the up one that's it's got Doug because I love Doug he's like my favorite Disney dog and then of course the Wally -E one I'm not like a huge inside out fan in all honesty so um, that one would not be like like uh, one that I definitely want to get I do think the little green aliens from Toy Story are cute and I do like Monsters Inc too so um, I'd be okay with any of them like I said but then the problem with these like blind boxes you guys is then you want to collect all of them and then it turns into this whole thing where you have to like start pin trading and I, I don't have time for pin trading so <laughs> fingers crossed you guys even though this is outside of my preferences Hopefully it's cute and hopefully um, I won't suddenly feel the need to go ahead and get a bunch of them. So then inside of the box, because they don't want you like peeking into the box if you're buying these in the store. And I feel like I'm so impressed by the people who have been buying these blind boxes like online because then you don't even get to like feel around and like kind of guess. So let me see if I can figure out what it is. I kind ooh, it's big. So I kind of feel like it could be the up pin because it's got the big like cluster of balloons or the other one that feels kind of or looks kind of big is like the Monsters Inc. one because Sully's got like a big square head. So let me go ahead and tear it open and we'll see what we've got. Fingers crossed for up, you guys. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Here we go. It wasn't any of the ones that I guessed. It wasn't either of the ones that I guessed, but it was the one that I wanted. So I'm really excited, you guys. It is Wally and Eve. Yay! I'm so happy. I have so much Wally stuff from different subscription boxes. You guys, that movie is such a great movie. So underrated, but still like has really lasted through the test of time. And it's just got such a great message. And like, there's honestly like not even much dialogue in it. And that's a testimony to how great of a movie it is and how they can make these um, animations just like emote and make you emote as well. So I think this is so cute. I will take some photos for you guys over on Instagram. So because I did wind up getting a pin that I actually really wanted, this wound up being a great box for me. I think I would have been way more disappointed if I had gotten like the Ratatouille pin or something. And because I also like got one of the ones that I really wanted, I don't feel like compelled to try to like collect all of them. Although now I kind of want the up one. So that was like a fun little addition. Um, I wouldn't probably normally get more blind boxes uh, just because like I said, I feel like it's a, it's an easy rabbit hole to start sliding down. But Again, every time I'm like, maybe I should give the like Disney boxes a break, I wind up getting like a really good Disney box, so. All right, so let's see. My box was curated with love by Becky. So this is a switch. Usually Amanda curates my box. So Becky, good job. Amanda, I miss you too. Um, honestly, you guys, I've never had like a bad box from Bibby because it's really up to you. If you take the time to go in there and say in your preferences, like this is what I want. If you take the time to go in there on the wish list and say like, this is what I like, or you can even like select in the wish list. Like there's nothing that really caught my eye. Go off of my preferences instead this month, instead of using the wish list. It makes it harder for them, but it ensures that you're going to get a box that you like. So the Disney Parks exclusive Minnie Mouse champagne ears were $29.99. Um, the Swarovski necklace and earring set we know is $39.99. And the Pop by Lounge Fly. So I guess that's why there's, like, their heads are so big. It's like the like pop style, which I don't really like pop stuff anyway, but 
I like it as the Pixar pin version. Um, Pop by Loungefly and Pixar by Pixar blind box hard enamel pins and that has a value of $10 which is about right for the like blind box pins. So um, <laughs> that's why they have such big square heads like Pops. Okay so overall our total value was $79.98 so that's like an $80 total retail value and again I said that I was wanting 10% over. I really like this because this makes me feel like I got my 10% over and it covered the shipping, which is huge because that $9.50 in shipping sometimes is where I'm like, pause. So great box from Bibbidi. Thank you so much to Becky. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any ears that you have your eye on, like the ears that you would want the most or that you're still looking for, or if you were gonna buy one pair of ears, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. Boxing.